Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. The Equalizer film. The Equalizer is a 2014 American vigilante action film directed by Antoine Fuqua and written by Richard Wenk, based on the TV series The Equalizer. It stars Denzel Washington, Martin Chokash, Chloe Grace Moretz, David Harbour, Bill Pullman, and Melissa Leo. Principal photography began in June 2013 in Massachusetts. It was the first film to have Village Roadshow Pictures co-finance the deal, with Sony Pictures Entertainment since Saving Silverman in 2001. The film had its world premiere at 2014 Toronto International Film Festival on September 7, 2014, and was released worldwide on September 26. The film received mixed reviews from critics, who highly praised the visual style, acting, soundtrack and action sequences, but criticized its violence script and plot. Nonetheless, it became a commercial success with a worldwide box office gross of over $192 million. A sequel has been confirmed for an August 2018 release, with Washington and Fuqua returning. Plot Robert McCall is a retired CIA black ops operative who lives quietly in Boston, Massachusetts and works at a home mart hardware store. McCall befriends many of his co-workers and helps a security guard trainee named Ralph pass his qualification exam. McCall promised his recently deceased wife that he would leave his old life behind. Unable to sleep, McCall spends some late nights reading in a 24-7 diner where he befriends Alina, a teenage prostitute for the Russian Mafia. McCall regales Alina with philosophical interpretations of the book he is reading, The Old Man in the Sea. One night, Alina is hospitalized following a brutal beating by her pimp, Slavi. McCall enters a restaurant owned by the Russian mob and offers to buy Alina's freedom from Slavi for $9,800, but Slavi refuses, dismissing McCall as old and impotent. Failing in this approach, McCall considers the room. Estimating it would take him 19 seconds to clear it, he subsequently kills Slavi and four of his men with skillful close combat efficiency. To slight dismay, McCall realizes that it took him 28 seconds to accomplish his task and quietly lectures the dying Slavi that his death could have been avoided if he had taken the money. In response to the death of Slavi and his crew, Russian Mafia boss Vladimir Pushkin sends his enforcer, Teddy Renson, to Boston to find and eliminate the culprit. In the meantime, Ralph withdraws his security guard application and instead goes to work with his mother at the family restaurant. McCall learns that the restaurant was set on fire by corrupt policemen as an act of extortion. McCall confronts the corrupt policemen, beats them, forces them to pay back all the money they have extorted, and threatens to publicize their crimes. Ralph then returns to home Martin passes his test becoming a security guard at the store. Renson determines that McCall is the culprit in the attack on Slavi and his crew. McCall repeatedly outsmarts Renson and his pursuers, and completes more acts of vigilantism. McCall then visits retired CIA operative Susan and Brian Plummer in Virginia. Susan helps him acquire intelligence on Pushkin's activities. It is revealed that Renson's real name is Nikolai Etchenko, and that he is an ex-Spetsnaz who ran a wing of the secret police. Susan describes him as a sociopath with a business card. Brian reveals to McCall that he had a nice funeral. The plumbers are relieved, though not surprised, that he is still alive. After McCall leaves, Susan remarks to Brian that McCall was not actually looking for help, but was asking for permission. After returning to Boston, McCall captures Frank Masters a corrupt policeman bribed by Pushkin by trapping him in his car and flooding the vehicle with tailpipe exhaust to force him to cooperate. Masters relents and helps McCall destroy one of Pushkin's local money laundering operations. McCall confronts Sichenko at dinner, pledging to bring down Pushkin's criminal enterprise, while McCall destroys a container ship Pushkin used to smuggle goods. Pushkin orders Sichenko to kill McCall. Pushkin adds that until the deed is done, Ichenko may not return home to Moscow. Ichenko and his men go to the home mart and take Ralph and several of McCall's other co-workers hostage, threatening to kill them if McCall does not surrender. McCall enters the store, disables most of the lighting, and tells Ralph to get the hostages to safety. McCall then kills Ichenko's henchmen one by one using booby traps constructed with items in the store. 
After a struggle between McCall and one of Vichenko's men, Ralph comes back to pull the injured McCall out of the store, but is shot in the leg himself. McCall tells Ralph to turn on the electricity at the breaker box in exactly 40 seconds, giving him his digital watch for precision. McCall sets up small containers of propane and oxygen in a microwave oven. The electricity turns it on, causing an explosion that kills the last of Ichenko's men. Afterwards, McCall confronts Ichenko and kills him with a nail gun. Later, McCall then travels to Moscow, confronts Pushkin, and sets a trap which electrocutes and kills him. McCall returns to Boston and is approached by Alina, who has recovered from her wounds, found a legitimate job, and taken up reading. Alina thanks him for giving her a second chance. McCall is inspired to continue using his skills to help people in need and posts an online advertisement, now identifying himself as the Equalizer. He soon receives another plea for help and agrees to answer it. Development in June 2010 it was announced that Russell Crowe was looking to bring The Equalizer to the big screen directed by Paul Haggis, with Crowe attached to play Robert McCall. In December 2011, it was reported that Denzel Washington would star in the title role of the film version, to be financed by Sony Pictures Entertainment and Escape Artists. Director Antoine Fuqua came on board to direct on March 21, 2013 reuniting him with Washington after their successful collaboration on the 2001 Oscar-winning film Training Day. Chloe Grace Moretz was announced as a co-star on May 10, 2013. Anna Kendrick, Kelly MacDonald and Nina Dobrev were also considered. On May 31, 2013, Melissa Leo was cast in the film. Leo previously worked with Washington in the 2012 film Flight and with Fuqua in Olympus Has Fallen, Martin Chokash was cast to play the villain on May 17. Music On June 21, 2013, Harry Gregson Williams was hired to compose the music for the film. Vraze Saraband released a soundtrack album for The Equalizer on September 23, 2014. On August 25, 2014, previews of the song, Guts Over Fear, by rapper Eminem and featuring Sia, with production by Emile Haney, premiered in trailers for the film. The song also plays over the closing credits. Promotion and Marketing The first official image from the film was released on December 6, 2013. Sony originally planned on an April 11, 2014 release date, but pushed it back to September 26, 2014. The first official poster for the film was released on April 16, 2014, on April 22, USA Today revealed photos from the film. On May 24, the trailer for the film was released. On June 12, another official trailer for the film was released. On July 16, the IMAX poster for the film was released. Theatrical release The film had a premiere at the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival on September 7, 2014. Sony released the film in IMAX screen theaters worldwide on September 26, 2014. Box Office The Equalizer grossed $101.5 million in North America and $90.8 million in other territories for the worldwide gross of $192.3 million, against a net production budget of $55 million. The film was released on September 26, 2014 in the United States and earned $12.6 million from 3,236 theaters in its first opening night including the $1.45 million it earned from 2,693 screens from Thursday night showings. On the second day the film earned $13.5 million and $8.1 million on the third day. Its opening day is the third biggest for Washington, tailing behind American Gangster and Safe House. On its opening weekend the film earned $35 million and debuted at number one at the box office. The film broke several records at the box office during its opening weekend including the biggest, a rated debut of September, surpassing Jackass, number two record, the biggest IMAX opener of September, the biggest debut weekend gross, for Antoine surpassing Olympus Has Fallen, the third biggest domestic opening for Washington behind the aforementioned American Gangster and Safe House in the fourth biggest for a film released in September.
It earned $3.3 million from 352 IMAX theaters. Audiences for the debut weekend of the film were 52% male and 48% female, with 65% of ticket buyers over 30 years old. The Equalizer earned $17.8 million overseas from 65 territories from 4,500 screens during its opening weekend with $1.4 million of the gross coming from 137 IMAX theaters. The film broke several September openings record in various territories including the UK, Netherlands, Israel, and Egypt. Top openings include the UK, Russia, Mexico, Brazil United Arab Emirates, and Malaysia. Showings from Village Roadshow Markets grossed an estimate $2.4 million with top openings including Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. Critical Response On Rotten Tomatoes a review aggregator, the film holds an approval rating of 60% based on 189 reviews, and an average rating of 5. 7 tenths. The site's critical consensus reads, The Equalizer is more stylishly violent than meaningful, but with Antoine Fuqua behind the cameras, and Denzel Washington dispensing justice, it delivers. On Metacritic, the film has a weighted average score of 57 out of 100, based on 41 critics indicating mixed or average reviews audiences polled by cinema score gave the film an average grade of a on an a plus to f scale sequel on february 24 2014 seven months before the release of the film it was announced that sony pictures and escape artists were planning a sequel with richard wenk penning the script in early october 2014 Fuqua said in an interview that there would be a sequel to the film only if audiences and Washington wanted it. He said it was an interesting character and the sequel could have more of an international flavor. On April 22, 2015, a sequel was confirmed, with Washington returning to his role. On June 11, 2015, Sony set September 29, 2017 as the release date for The Equalizer 2, although Fuqua had not confirmed if he would return. On September 23, 2016, Washington officially was confirmed to reprise his role. In November 2016, Sony announced that the sequel was pushed back to September 14, 2018, and Fuqua would return to direct. The release date was later moved up to August 3, 2018. In July 2017, Columbia Pictures announced that a portion of the filming would take place in the Brand Rock area of Marshfield, Massachusetts. Filming is scheduled for two weeks in November 2017. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like